Welcome to Physics Learning. In this video, I am going to discuss about regulated power supply. We will see the concept of load regulation and line regulation. I will also discuss how we can use Jenner diode as voltage regulator. Before going in detail, let me discuss this simple circuit. Here you can easily see we have a power supply and in series we have series resistance and a load. If I will ask you two simple questions. What will happen if supply voltage undergoes a change? Or what will happen if load current undergoes a change? Answer will be very simple if you know the Ohm's law. According to Ohm's law, the load current can be written as Vs upon Rs plus RL. As a result, you can easily calculate the voltage drop across the RL, which you can easily obtain just by multiplying RL with IL. Okay? If we say that this load voltage is output voltage, then your answer is very simple. If we change load current or supply voltage, the load voltage will change. As a result, output voltage will change. But sometimes it is not desirable that load voltage will change or output voltage will change with the change in line voltage, right? If this kind of scenario happens, that is output voltage will change with the change in supply voltage or load current, such type of supply is called unregulated power supply. Okay. So now from here on we can continue and we can say what is regulated voltage supply. Regulated voltage supply maintain the constant output voltage irrespective of change in supply which we also call line voltage or load current. And this process of maintaining the constant voltage is known as regulation. Okay. So from here we can define two types of regulation. First one is line regulation. What is line regulation? Line regulation is ability of device to maintain stable output voltage when input or supply voltage changes. That means we need to have a constant output. Whatever will be the change in the input voltage, output voltage should remain constant. From this definition, we can just define a line regulation like ratio of change in output voltage to change in input voltage. From this equation, it is very clear. If you want constant output voltage, which does not change with the change in input voltage, then line regulation has to be 0%. Okay. Similarly, we can define a load regulation. Load regulation is ability of a device to maintain stable output voltage when load current changes. Now, how load current will change? Load current will change if you change the resistance of the load. Okay. From here, we can say load regulation is equals to change in output voltage to the change in load current. Change in output voltage can be written as voltage of no load minus voltage of full load. And from this definition, it is clear if we want constant output voltage, then load regulation should be zero. Now we know the concept of load and line regulation. Let's see how we can use Jena diode as voltage regulator. Jena diode is a specially designed diode that work in reverse breakdown region. Okay. What is reverse breakdown region? If you bias a diode with reverse bias and if you increase the biasing voltage, then after a critical limit, there is a breakdown. Okay. From these IV characteristics, you can see where the breakdown is. Okay, I'm not going into detail of this reverse breakdown reason because that is a part of diode topic. Okay, now from this curve, it is easily seen that at the point of breakdown, the Zener voltage is constant and current is increasing very fast. Okay, that means what we can say that Zener can provide a constant voltage. Okay. Therefore, we can connect it across a load and we can have a regulated voltage. Okay. So, in order to have a voltage regulation, we just need to connect a Jenner diode in parallel with the load and it must be in reverse bias configuration. Okay. Let's move to the detail. Uh, this is the Sunt voltage regulated circuit. Here you can see from the left side, we can apply an unregulated voltage. We have a series resistance RS and load and Jenner diode is in parallel. This RS should be chosen such that current through this series resistance must be less than maximum Jenner allowed current. Okay. What it means? 
Suppose there is no load, so current through load will be zero. So all IS will pass through Jenner. And we know after a certain limit, Jenner will burn out. There is a maximum current limit for a Jenner. Okay. So RS is here safe resistance also you can say. Okay. Unregulated voltage must be always greater than Jenner breakdown voltage. Otherwise Jenner will not break and that part of Jenner line will act as a open circuit and it is not a regulated voltage supply source. Okay. Again, when the input voltage is higher than Jenner and suppose this whole circuit is in the regulation condition, then output voltage will be equal to the Jenner voltage approximately. Okay. Now we will move to see how the line regulation is working here. From the circuit, if we apply KCL, then we can easily say that IS must be equal to IZ plus IL. Right. It is obvious. Now, by some mean, if let's say that supply voltage that is input voltage increases what will happen it is obvious that is has to be increased because total resistance in the circuit is fixed so if voltage is increases is has to increase as is increase as a result voltage across rs will also increase now as is is increasing how the voltage across load is fixed it is very easy the increase in IS will increase the Jenner current and we know that Jenner can sustain Jenner voltage for very long current region. Okay, we have seen the breakdown voltage IV characteristic there you have seen that V is fixed almost fixed with the increase in current in the breakdown region. Okay, so increase in IS will increase the Jenner current without affecting the load current as a result IL will be constant. And as IL will be constant, voltage across load will be constant. Similarly, if input voltage decreases, IS will also decrease. Hence, decrease in voltage across RS. Okay. Decrease in IS will also decrease the Jenner current without affecting the load current. So, in the case of increase in voltage, that excess voltage drop will come across RS, not RS. Okay. In case of decrease in voltage, excess voltage is decreases from rs not rl okay and increase and decrease in current will be adjusted across the jenner therefore in both the scenario whether there is an increase in input voltage or decrease in the input voltage load voltage remains constant that is output voltage is always regulated similarly we can explain the load regulation how Suppose by any mean load current increases. Then what will happen? For an amount of increase in load current, there will be same amount of decrease in IZ. That will maintain the constant IS. This constant IS keep the RS voltage constant. Okay. As the input voltage is not changed, thus the load voltage will remain constant. Okay. Similarly, suppose load current decreases then IZ will increase which maintain constant IS as a result voltage drop across RS will constant and hence voltage drop across load will be constant. So hope you have understood all these things and in the next video I am going to discuss some drawback of this Jenner regulated power supply and then we will see how we can de design an improved circuit of regulated power supply. See you then. Thank you.